Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. You see him? Yeah. The little baby next to him? Oh yeah. 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 My name is Nodir. I am from Walfus Bay. And this is my workplace. I come out here every day. I run a, um, I own and run a kayaking company. And we come out here to the Pelican Point seal colony. We've got about anything between 40 and 60,000 seals living out here. And we come kayaking with them. But we've got a huge problem with the entanglements, mainly uh, fishing waste, uh, nets, fishing lines, packaging, straps, uh, fishing straps from fish boxes and things getting entangled around seals' necks. So we've taken it upon ourselves, myself and my colleagues, to do something about this. And we catch uh, and disentangle as many seals uh, as we can. So when we see a seal, we, uh, we sort of um, formulate a bit of a plan based on its size. Sometimes we can catch them by hand. Sometimes we need a special net we've had made for, for this particular purpose. And we need to assess how far it is away from the beach because often they'll run, they'll run into the water before we can get to them. Sometimes time is very short, so you need to do a very quick assessment, put on some gloves and run out and try and get the animal before he makes it to the ocean. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna try and get the net over his head. The idea is that uh, when we get the net over him, he's going to run, run himself into the end of the net. So yeah. he gets his head stuck here. Then yes. about safety, uh, knowing, um, putting safety first. Sometimes we just have to turn around and, and leave animals if they're just too big and strong. Um, and just knowing how to handle the animal once he's caught, uh, how to hold him, where to hold him, and how to approach him to minimize the chance of, of getting bitten. The most common thing we are getting is fishing lines. Uh, just today we, we got a few different things. This is a commercial fishing line, a hand line that's very commonly used. Uh, in the Namibian waters. A lot of these lines, when they get old, just get discarded overboard. This is a very big problem we have at the moment too. This is a gill net. Gill netting is not actually allowed in Namibia, but it's a very big mesh gill net. See, and a thing like this floating in the ocean catches anything. Turtle, dolphin, fish, seal, anything that swims into this gets. So much damage from such a little thing. Because I'm out here most days on tour, um, I will try and Keep my eyes open all the time, sometimes while we're driving, just jump out and catch a seal, or if I'm in the water. Every once in a while when I can, I try and do designated seal catching days like this, where we just come out and see how many seals uh, we can catch uh, and, and release. On my Instagram page, uh, we have started a GoFundMe, uh, so it's called the Go Get Funding campaign, uh, which has been really well supported. With this, we are buying some specialized equipment, better gloves uh, for us, better tools for rescuing the seals. We're having more nets made. It's really refreshing to see how many people are willing to help. So uh, the plan is to eventually get some sort of a, an NGO or nonprofit started up on a larger scale. That is the plan to, to create as much awareness for this uh, campaign as we can. <laughs> Just be mindful about anything you throw away. Uh, everything, <laughs> if it's a... Uh, if it can't biodegrade or rot away, it, it's going to end up somewhere and it can damage something. So just uh, if you see something lying on the beach, pick it up, take it home. Especially there's children around, lead by example. And just be conscious of <laughs> when you throw things away. <laughs>